false compassion, which is gradually growing in this country, is a pity that is shown not to the mugged, but to the mugger. Not to the family of the murdered, but to the murderer. Not to the woman who was raped, but to the rapist. Not to the poor girl who's given a shot of dope, but to the rich boy who happens to come from a fine family. There are some judges, some in some of our courts. There are some social workers, not all. There are sob sisters. There are the social slobberers who insist on compassion being shown to the muggers, to the dope fiends, to the throat slashers, to the beatniks, to the prostitutes, to the homosexuals, to the punks. So that today the decent man is practically off the reservation. This is the false compassion. How did it start? It started in literature. In the novels of William Saroyan, John Steinbeck, where pity was extended through the novel to the good-natured slob. And then the novels of Mandel, James Jones, and others in which pity is shown to every kind of pervert and degenerate. As one character says in the novel, the girl said, he called me a tramp. Imagine that, he called me a tramp. And the other girl says, I don't understand it. Just because you go out and, and do all the things that a tramp does and steal and so forth doesn't mean that you're really not a nice, fine girl. Now, with what result? With the result that crime is increasing, that clemency of a false kind is shown to criminals, here, for example, a young married woman with two children goes on a kind of binge, lives with five different men for five different months. She's brought before a judge who finds that her good husband, a science teacher, was not sufficiently humanistic because he taught science. I never knew before that that destroyed human nature. But he was considered by the judge not sufficiently humanistic. So the judge ordered that the house in which they lived should be given to this mother, that the two children should be cared for by the state, the husband should pay her $200 a month until she was emotionally restored because she was more to be pitied than censured. This is the false compassion. There was a professor in one of our universities here in the United States who had just finished a lecture on the fact that there's no such thing as right and wrong. We are only, only sick. And the great clemency must always be shown to every kind of criminal. On his way home from giving that lecture, he was mugged, robbed, and badly beaten. He insisted on being taken to the police station before he was taken to the hospital in order to complain against the police. <laughs> 